So it's the morning of day 150. 150. 150. We are about half an hour's joy, possibly, hopefully, on the Italian border. Yes. We've got to get down a mountain first. Um, yes. A couple of worries we have about getting into Italy. One, GPS we have heard... signal lost. The GPS signal is lost. <laughs> so we don't, we're not going to be able to get there. <laughs> now, the first one is we heard stories a while ago of people being stopped and having to wait for hours at the border. Mm because they were British, allegedly being told, you wanted Brexit, this is what you get. But then the other thing, the coronavirus. We woke up this morning to headlines of Italy imposing draconian rules. I think they're justified, but you know. Yeah, but they're basically <laughs> forbidding people uh, under threat of fine and criminal prosecution. Yeah, to leave, jail sentences. Yeah, to leave certain areas, well to enter or leave certain areas. We've had a look, we should be fine as long as we stick to the coast. It's just a couple of regions, the north of the country. Let's see if we can go to Italy or not. Hooray. made it into Italy. Barely a border to speak of. Same as coming into France actually, they were checking people coming into France from Italy but no one, there's just a barrier in the way yeah. to chicane around and then that's it, you're in Italy. We avoided the toll roads so we took the Riviera route. Yeah. It's very scenic, not ideal for old battered vans. Or just large vehicles Or just really. large vehicles. Um, <laughs> Um, it's on Italian soil. Dagger, are you in Italy? Yes, she is. She's like, it's colder than bloody England. Um, it's not. We left the sun in France. We did. Um, let's come, back, let's come around here, actually, because there's the Mediterranean. Not feeling very Mediterranean at the moment. It looked really inviting as we entered the country. It did. And it's just got a bit grey. Yeah. Um, we're in a region where we don't have to worry about the coronavirus quarantine areas mm. uh, this cloud might be airborne coronavirus we don't know <laughs> so we're just going to bed down here for the night and tomorrow we're going to go to Genoa yes and then carry on heading down the coast it's the only yes. safe place up this end of the country <laughs> <laughs> for now for now Day 153. 153. Second full day in Italy. We were supposed to explore Genoa today. Literally got out of the van. There's a 20 minute walk to the nearest metro station. Flash of lightning and the rumble of thunder. Uh, we started walking back to the van and they have died down a bit now, but we have hailstones which are bouncing. It has eased up a little bit, but I've just seen men in high-vis vets and hard hats running back to their cars. <laughs> uh. The impact's like this big on screen. So that's kind of delayed today's plan. A little bit. But it's okay. But there is an Ikea, so we're going to go in and buy some things. 
which we need. Some shells. More home improvement. Ooh, no, it stopped. So we're on day 154. 154, my Oh, see, so you say that, don't you? Yeah, okay. <laughs> we didn't make it to Genoa. First day due to rain. Second day due to not having enough time to cross the river. There wasn't enough time, we physically couldn't. We physically, like, we, without taking like a two hour walking detour. That's where the road we were supposed to go down is having a new road built above it. They're clearly building a new toll road because we do need to get through Italy, we need to be in Greece by like the 18th of March. Yeah. Couldn't really spend another day waiting to go to Genoa. The, the emissions and congestion charge zones in Italy, very confusing. Yes, and everywhere. They're not standardised by the government. They're done on like a town by town basis by the town. Yeah. So there's no central website you can go to which details them all. And we didn't want to risk getting any closer to be able to go into Genoa. So we didn't go to Genoa. Obviously, northern Italy is ripe with coronavirus at the moment. We haven't seen any evidence of it. We haven't been to any of the quarantine areas. Okay. They're, they're further north, but the general advice is north of Pisa. So, like, okay, we need to get south of Pisa. So, a good start would be to come to Pisa. I'm hoping, as it's the middle of the day on a Friday, we may be able to get a coffee there or something. How minted are you? <laughs> we did go shopping this morning. Um, so, what have we learned about Italian prices? Berries are cheaper than the rest of Europe, on the whole, but everything else is way more expensive. Yes. Ooh, also, pasta is cheaper, Yes. So that's about it. But meat is heinously expensive. Meat is incredibly expensive, vegetables are fairly expensive. So, let's go see just how leaning <laughs> this tower is. <laughs> Pisa, mm -hmm. the leading tower of. Yeah, we didn't explore the town because there wasn't much to explore. There's not really much else there. It's just we're, the bit around the square is very nice. Yeah. And then that's about it. Plus, we've got our stop tonight, which is a free stop just outside of Florence. With it being a Friday, I'd rather get there a little bit right. sooner. But it's good. It's like it gets more leany the closer you get. I mean, it doesn't, but to it a looks. Point. Yes. Yes. Plenty of information there about what it's built out of. All the restoration work they had to do. Nothing about why it's leaning. It's lean is 3.97 degrees. It did get up to 5.5, but then restoration work started in 1990. But no, I'm glad we've seen that. That's something cool. Yeah. And it's because there's nothing else really in Pisa. 
Uh, we, we parked a little bit out of the town. Yep. And about a 20 minute walk, but for free, opposite, uh, cemetery. opposite cemetery. We had our first Italian coffee on this trip. We did. Both our Your first. Your first ever Italian coffee. My first ever Italian coffee and my first ever espresso. Right. It had chocolate Same in it. here. It and it was nice. I certainly yeah. feel awake. <laughs> Not noticeably more so Is than that before. why you're speaking so quickly right now? It must be, yes. So, yeah. Into the van. Off to our spot tonight. For Florence tomorrow. Yeah. Mm. Fun time. All the Renaissance. All the Renaissance. <laughs>